All right, squad. Hey, man, say, man. I said, what's good to check game? Y'all know the vibes like and subscribe. Y'all know I got another banger for y'all today, man. Now, I'm going to show y'all today, bro, how my steering wheel players can be just a little bit more competitive against our controller players out there when it comes to using the steering wheel. Now, I'm going to answer the golden question off rip that I get asked. Is the steering wheel worth using for need for speed unbound the answer is no <laughs> i ain't gonna lie okay there's a different type of racing when it comes to this game and using the steering wheel because the steering wheel does not have as much force feedback as you normally would feel in a car when it comes to this game and it's not adjustable so we are hindered when it comes to that and the control players have a way better advantage but I'm going to show you all a couple of things that y'all can do in order to make y'all have a little bit more of a competitive edge. Most of it is in G-Hub, but if you guys want to, too, there are certain key binds that you can change. And I will verbally explain those and y'all can go in here, too, and I will show y'all exactly where they are in game. But first, let's go ahead and head over to G-Hub real quick. Let me go ahead and throw the display on. All right, I need to empty out a lot of things off my desktop. I'm so sorry for that, y'all. But as y'all can see right here, my G29 here, we're going to click on that. Now, the operating range, okay? I ain't going to lie for you guys, man. Go ahead and bring that down to either 360 or 180, okay? You got to. You honestly got to in order to make you more competitive. Now, if there are certain circumstances if you are in a lobby with your homies and you all are using the steering wheel then it's a fair race turn it up to 900 drive like you normally would but if you want to be competitive against these controller players like so you got to do the 360 to 180 bro you got to it's just you it's inevitable and i'm not gonna lie to the centering spring does kind of help to a need for speed because it kind of helps you you know what i'm saying when the wheel comes back in the middle now normally i have it set to zero because i'm gonna set a course of racer most of the time but for need for speed i ain't gonna lie you might want to check this and just bring it up slightly like i would say you know around like 30 because it just helps you kind of bring it back just a little bit you know what i'm saying it's not too much of a tug but you see how it comes right back you know it's just not 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 too bad but yeah i will put it right there you know what i'm saying seven default if you want to you can also save it for need for speed specific now we can go into need for speed let's go over here to the settings like i told you guys i'm going to verbally talk about those so we can go to our settings let's go over to where is it the driving now i'm not gonna lie to y'all this thing here, baby. There's no point in having a clutch. So there, actually, it, you don't have a clutch. <laughs> you don't have a clutch in this game when it comes to shifting. So you might as well go ahead and keep it on automatic, baby. Leave this alone. Now, to be honest with you, if you are driving, like I said, with other people who are using steering wheel, go ahead, manual. Y'all go ahead and vibe out. You know what I'm saying? But that too. And you can also change one more thing. Oh, yeah, in the controls too. In the key binds, if you want to control the vibration, that will also hinder this from vibrating because sometimes it does tend to vibrate on the steering wheel too. I don't know why I have ran into that before. It might have been a glitch. I could be wrong about that. You can disregard that too. But those are just a couple of things that help my steering wheel players be a little bit more competitive towards my people who are on controller and if you don't have a controller like some people do not have a controller but they have a steering wheel like i was for a while i just got this controller and i'm having fun with this game now but yeah like i said it just makes you a little bit more competitive so let me know if that helped y'all man i love y'all i'm gonna see y'all the next one like subscribe and all that follow me on all social medias everything will be down below and as always it's always a groovy i'm gonna see y'all the next one peace